What's up, world? What's up, world? Purple on Boston TV with Coach Bundy. About to hit you with a number. Shot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know it's Sunday. It's Sunday. So, for me, Saturday was yesterday. First of all, man, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already did so, man. Yeah, y'all got me feeling some type of way, for real, because I ain't been... Be, I, I, I see the view, but I ain't getting the interaction. Y'all supposed to be the heart foundation, man. Let, let's interact so we can make more videos and stay active in the boxing community. I got us. Trust me. Y'all just got to support me. Y'all support me, and we're going to go to the top. Facts. Heart foundation. But anyway, look, man. Bivol, Better Beef, Car, uh, Reality Season, Undisputed. Um, light heavyweight title match is in the books, man. It's in the books. We've had it. Last night was monumental. It's fires fighting. Now, 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 now. Congratulations to our Arito Better Bietta B if that's how if that's how you really say it. Arturo Bieta Beef, the new 175-pound undisputed world champion of the world. And uh, he, he wins a majority decision. Uh, very controversial. Very controversial, I may add. Uh, uh, one judge was 114-114. Uh, one judge was... 116, 112. One judge was 113, 115. Uh, majority decision to uh, Artu, Arturo better be if, better be if. Man. If you, if you ask me, I thought the fight was close. That's, that's no doubt. Me and my wife sat up there and watched the fight. I thought it was close. But, um, see, you have to, it, it takes a certain eye to see what, you know, certain eyes see. And I, I say it was close as far as competitiveness and, and each fighter um, having the will to win the entire 12 rounds. You know what I'm saying? But uh, from, from what I've seen, man, it, it wasn't as close on the scorecards as the judges made it up. Uh me personally I, I, I gave it up. I gave it eight four Bivol. You know? I, I gave I gave it eight rounds to four Bivol. Seven five at the most. You know what I'm saying? Um it was some there was some swing rounds in the middle, but those swing rounds wasn't oh it was him or him winning. These was the type of swing rounds that you either say, I was kind of a 10-10 round, which I know judges don't like to do, or uh, Bivol edged it out with accuracy, ring generalship, um, uh, clean landed shots, you know what I'm saying, good defense, um, Let's get into the fight, man. The first round, first, first, they both came out, zeroed in. Uh, Belcher BF was more energetic, per se, when he came out and did his walk to the rank. Uh, Dimitri Bivo came out more, more locked in, you know, loosening up. Zoned out though. Um, not a lot of movement until he actually got to the ring. Uh, fighters is introduced. They the ref read them their rights. They touch gloves. Come out. Boom. It was exciting. Um, the first round, uh, you can see uh, better BF starting off as he usually does, you know. Like an old K5, our old uh, 
Deuce and a quarter. Big Boy Impala or something, man, from the 80s or the 70s. You know, you start them joints up and let them get revved up. So, yeah, that's how Arturo Better BL started off, you know, high guard, trying to find his jab, trying to find the time and the look for his cameras. Dimitri Bivol come out a look cautious first. You know what I'm saying? 45 seconds in, he takes over. He he starts leading. Um, he's on his he's moving with his feet. Uh, but but he's running um he's he's running a a, 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 a super fast uh super fast super swift jab. The jab that Dimitri Bivo established in the beginning of the first round was 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 remarkable. You know what I'm saying? That is exactly the way that you're supposed to keep a keep a jab in the face of any power punch. So yeah, I, I saw that. Um, you know, turning the hook over off the jab, jab, hook, right hand, boom, 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 turn him. Jab, jab, jab. So uh Dimitri Bivol took the first round easy. Um second round. A little bit of a replay, uh, same shit. You see, you see, um, I throw roll better BF on the front foot, had guard up, trying to chase, um, Bivol down with the jab, but, uh, Biv chasing down with the jab and then landed straight right hand. He started trying to sneak it in. Um, Dimitri Bivol's catching him on the glove and then slipping and then turning out the side door. He's doing that all the way around the ring. Everyone in the half times around the ring, he'll he he off of the jab, he'll turn that right at left hook over, shoot the right hook, and bring the left hook back around. Uh he might double the jab, shoot the right hand, and then bring the jab again. So bam 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 bam. And then turn him. Uh he was doing that, man, for three three straight rounds. Uh each round, you could see uh, Better BF closing in even more, you know. By the, come, by the time the fourth round came, so I got a 3-0 uh, Bivo. By the time the fourth round came, um, Better BF found his, found his timing, found some better rhythm to where he started landing his shots. Um, Dimitri Bivol seen how, how, how forceful that power was. I think he did well with it. Um, right there, and, and I think it was late third or early fourth round, they exchanged right hands. Uh, better BF through the right hand, through the, through the jab right hand. Dimitri Bivol uh, ranged out and pulled counter, and they ran right into each other's right hand. Boom. Both guys felt it. Both guys definitely felt it. Um, I, I I would say uh, better BF probably edged out the fourth round with a little bit more activity, maybe just a little bit. That's one of them swing rounds I was talking about. Uh, uh, Heart Foundation. That's one of the swing rounds. But uh, boom. So for fifth uh, fifth round come out. All right, it's starting to turn into a, a, a fight in spurts. You know what I'm saying? Dimitri Bivol rocking that piston jab, shooting the right hand. One, two, one, two. Hook, straight, turn. Hook, straight, turn. All on the back foot. All on the back foot. And that's why I say it was a, it was a remarkable performance because... <clears throat> Is is as strong as better be, better BF was, and as relentless and as much as he was focused on closing the distance, staying on the front foot, bringing the pressure, and setting up his shots, uh, Dimitri Bivol would do just enough to not get hit flush. He he really never got hit by the shots that. Uh, Better BF was wanted to land. He never did. He catch him on the glove. Um, he catch it like a graze. 
man, he was avoiding those shots as needed. Um, and within them middle rounds right there, better BF did push the push the pace more. Shut up. Better be did push the pace more. Uh, uh, stole a couple rounds with activity. Within those rounds, though, all y'all gotta do is go back and check it out. Four or five, I mean, uh, five, six, seven ish. Um, Dimitri Bavo would would turn it on at the end of the round and and land clean, accurate shots, power punches. Uh, better BF shots was. More, more, more nasty, more gritty. They wasn't landing flush. He was pushing B, uh, Dimitri Bivol back. He was pushing him back for two or three rounds. Come, come eighth, ninth round, Bivol established the uh, center of the ring again. Um, started back letting off his combination. He's he's run he's running massive combinations uh, on better BF. Uh, the the one two. Hook straight, hook, uh, turn him, uh, turn right him into a jab and a right hand, boom, boom. It, it, it was remarkable to see the boxer disarm the puncher and use ring generalship and use ring IQ, punch accuracy, and, and, and just using his fight you could tell in camp better BF I mean you can tell in camp preparing for better BF Bivol and his team what he was doing in the ring is what he was doing in camp I guarantee it controlling controlling the pace taking the lead running the one two the one one two the one two one two hook straight turn Catch counter straight, pull counter straight, uh, pull counter straight hook. All throughout the swarming of of this big massive champion in Better BF. He kept coming, but um I think Dimitri Bivol, eight, nine, ten, um sustained and uh weathered the storm and and landed the cleaner shots. And uh, secured the victory. That's what I thought. Uh, eight, nine, ten was close. Uh, both of them got hurt. I believe better, better BF was hurt early. I think in four, maybe five. And uh, uh, Bivol caught him with a hook straight, and and they really tried to go get him and try to get him out of her, and ran right into one. Hurt Bivol. Bivol makes it out of the round. You know what I'm saying? But another time I seen uh, Bivol get stunned by a good power jab that he walked into. Boom. Um, um, better BF was, wasn't able to capitalize and get him out of there like he's used to. Um, and another time down towards the later stretch, uh, I seen Dimitri Bivol hurt the the power, the power punch, and better BF with with a left hook. Um, um, Levin Fram, better BF tried to come out <laughs> with more urgency. His corner, um, his corner told him that they needed a knockout. That was at the beginning of ten or eleven, and I believe they gave him right instructions. He needed a knockout. Uh. Uh. But came up short. He, he didn't get the knockout. The, the way the fight had been going, it continued. But uh, Dimitri Bivol staying on the back foot, um, keeping distance, keeping his guard high, allowing better be able to punch himself out. Last minute, minute and a half of the round, he starts landing clean punches and running combinations and making it obvious who's landing the more sufficient shots. And that's what I saw, 11 and 12. Be, um, better BF getting the better of the the beginning of 12. Dimitri Bivo closing the round now. Um, like I said, they gave uh, Arturo Better BF uh, the, the nod. 
He's the undisputed uh, light heavyweight world champion of the world. Um, we definitely need a rematch, I believe. Turkey Al uh both both fighters was in agreement. Uh, man, you know, better be F said, you know, we'll ask Al Sheik them. You know, Bivo said, why wouldn't I? So uh, I I believe Dimitri Bivo won that fight. Not easy, but clearly is what I mean. Is what I mean. Like he clearly won that fight to me. Eight to four, seven, five. If you count the swing round, maybe. Uh but hey man, that's boxing, man. Y'all already know how it go. Uh uh, we want to see the rematch for sure. I don't really want to talk about nothing else. <laughs> we want to see the rematch. Um, good fight, great fight, two styles. The the swarming, the swarming devastating knockout artist puncher against the the slick ring IQ and talented boxing skills of the boxer. Gotta see it again. Uh, uh, come on, man. We gotta do better, though. Uh, boxing. We, get, we gotta do better. We can't keep doing this. Um, um, Purple Heart Boxing TV, Coach Bundy, about to hit you with another shot. And we out. Man.